How Concentration Affects Rate of Reaction by kscience.com Here we have two containers, where the container on the left is the high concentration and the container on the right is the low concentration. In the high concentration, there are more particles. This means there is a higher frequency of collisions. This causes the particles to collide more frequently. In the low concentration, there are less particles. There is a lower frequency of collisions. The particles collide less often. In the high concentration, we know there are more particles, which increases the frequency of collisions. So the chance of successful collisions increases, which increases the rate of reaction. In the low concentration, there are less particles, so there is a lower frequency of collisions. So the chance of successful collisions decreases, which decreases the rate of reaction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to apply our understanding about how concentration affects the rate of reaction through the chemical reaction of magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen. The balance equation is Mg, S for solids, plus HCl, Aq for aqueous, reacts to form MgCl2 Aq for aqueous plus H2 G for gas. To measure the rate of reaction, we're going to focus on the hydrogen gas produced. We're going to measure the volume of hydrogen gas produced with time. I should have balanced the equation previously, so we need to put a big 2 in front of the HCl. In this experiment, we're going to use the same mass of magnesium but different concentrations of hydrochloric acid. So we carry out the experiment reacting magnesium with different concentrations of hydrochloric acid. We measure the volume of gas produced at regular intervals. We plot these results on a graph where time in seconds is on the x-axis and volume of gas produced in centimeters cubed is on the y-axis. The key shows how the blue line represents the higher concentration of hydrochloric acid, which is 1 mole per decimeter cubed HCl. And the orange line represents the lower concentration of hydrochloric acid, which is 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed HCl. For the higher concentration, initially the rate of reaction is faster. As the reaction progresses, the rate slows down as the curve becomes less steep. Eventually, the curve becomes flat or horizontal as no more gas is being produced. The reaction has now stopped. For the lower concentration, the rate of reaction is lower, shown by the curve being less steep. As the reaction continues, the rate of reaction slows down as the reacting particles are used up. Eventually, the curve flattens or becomes horizontal, which shows the reaction has stopped. Notice how the reaction stops at a later point. It takes longer for the reaction to stop as the rate of reaction is slower. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow.
Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.